How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and today I just wanted to do some quick map tips for you. There's a few spots on some maps that not everyone seems to know about so I just wanted to show you. So the first map is Summit and you can see on this control panel if you get onto the top edge you can use it to jump up to this ledge here so you can kind of keep that doorway guarded. You can see over to the left as well. You will stand out like a sore thumb up here just to let you know but it's an option for you. If you come up to the control panel from like the it's sort of a T-shape. If you come up from that direction, it stops you. Just keep flipping over the uh, top lip of the monitor screens. But yeah, you can see the different spots you can keep locked off. And then once you're up here, you can jump out of this window onto this ledge up here. And then again, you can kind of see all the different spots. You can keep this whole flank locked off, really, if it uh, is of any use to you. Personally, I've never used it myself in Black Ops 4. I used to use it a little bit in Black Ops 1. And I've seen a guy up here the other day, so I knew it was still working. But I only really play Team Deathmatch, so it's not of much use to me. I like to run around like a lunatic. But if you play sort of Domination, Hard Point, or Control, uh, things like that, then this might be more handy to you once you've caught your spots to just lock them down. And you can drop down onto that next ledge as well. Just a quick note of caution, don't hold jump down when you land on it, because you can see it just flick me straight over the rails. And then the last one for this map is you can use this to jump into the cart. And again, you can see the different points I can uh, aim at. You can sort of keep that flank locked down again, really. You can see up into the control room and stuff a little bit from here as well. So like I say, this might be handy in uh, game modes like domination and stuff. And then to jump out, it looks like you might not make it, but you will. So the next map is uh, Arsenal, and these doors, you can shoot them to open them, which sometimes, you know, people are peeking around that wall at the back, and you don't realise until the doors fling open when you're five foot from them, and you get shot, so sometimes it works on all of them, you can just shoot them to check if anyone's on the other side. And the last thing is, on this spawn side, people run this way to, sort of, you know, the way to go. I've always found if you run this way and jump through this window, it's just always been quicker. I've never been beaten up these steps and I like to get first blood. So the next map is Contraband and when you're at this point you can use this little ledge here to jump off it and into this window, which quite a lot of times the people in here won't expect. Also if you're at this point and someone's shooting at you from there, if you can get them to sort of disappear behind that wall for a second. Quite often they won't expect you to do this basically and run around here, flank them and shoot them. So sometimes it can just help with that basically. And then when you've got this point here, there's quite often snipers in that window and stuff there. If you drop down, it's basically just using the water more. I lost the bit where I came up the ladder because bloody between capture gallery and the theatre mode, they're a pain in the ass. they keep losing clips. But essentially once you pop up the ladder, people there don't always expect you to pop up on that side. And then lastly, when you go in the water, this area here, there's a little ledge here. So the ladder's over there that I would have just climbed up. There's that window I just jumped in. And yeah, this little ledge, you can use it to jump up this side as well. Um, so once you do come off this ladder, obviously you can go left and there's that ladder there. Or as I said, yeah, there's this ledge here. You can't jump into the window from it, but it might help you out in some situations. That's about it for this map. So the next map I've done is firing range and if you're in this room here sometimes you get someone down here down there that's just aiming at you with a sniper so you, if you're in this room you can kind of stand on the table and peek around you might be able to get rid of them. The next one is in this room here so when you come up those steps sometimes there's someone camping over there and they just try and lock that room down they're usually sitting up there somewhere. But if you come over here jump onto there and on this ledge you can get through this window here and quite often they're stood here and not expecting it. There's also a ledge uh, just below that window I was just looking at. You can actually jump up through that window as well using that. So that's one of the ways. Uh, I was just going to say quickly, when people are in there, if you've got fire break, your radiation thing will work. But as well, if you jump up onto this ledge and shoot through these mesh things, there's a pretty damn high chance, If you, especially if you've got like an assault rifle, that you'll hit whoever's hiding in there. Um, and then... Once you're over here as well, there's just, not everyone uses it, but you can jump on this roof. Obviously sometimes you peek around there and they're all aiming at you hard scoping and they're... Once they're hard scope, they might not even see you up here until you pop them basically. And then the last one is just this green diesel thing here. You can use it to jump over to shoot someone if they're sort of guarding that doorway. Or you can sort of jump across and it'll get you up there that way. 
And uh, lastly for this map is this building here. You can jump through this window when that sliding thing is out of the way. Because quite often someone will put a mesh mine there and then they'll be sitting here just hard scoping into the spawn and if you're from this side you've they've usually got pretty good cover with that table but obviously if you come through the window you can pop them and get the mesh mines off. And uh, that's about it for that map. The next map is Seaside and it's this tank. No one ever seems to jump on top of it. I'm the only person I've ever seen actually use it, but the amount of people that are hiding on the other side of it, and they don't even know that you're just jumping over the top to shoot them. Sometimes it can be handy if you're shooting up that way, and again, they don't expect you to go on top of it. And then the next one is this room here. Obviously, people aiming down here all the time, just trying to get spawners. If you pop this way, the chances are they'll kill you. Quite a few people know this, but not everyone, so I just wanted to include it. You can jump up this bit there and jump through the window that way. Most people seem to know you can go out the window but not everyone actually goes back through it. And then the last one is this ledge up here. This platform here sticks out and you can actually use it to jump up. So you jump there, jump again, pop whoever's in there, usually there's a sniper obviously looking out at everybody. And it also can be handy if there's three or four people there around the tank and that sort of entrance is pretty locked down. You might be able to use it just to go around this way and flank a little bit for them as well. And then, uh, sorry, actually, lastly for this map is just this tank inside as well. No one ever seems to use it again. I was running around like a madman earlier. There was a dog chasing me, and I just kept doing this, running around, shooting people, jumping over the uh, tank, and the dog didn't get me for ages. It actually did get me in the end, but I got about five or six kills before it did. And uh, people just weren't expecting to see me just keep appearing on one side of the tank to the other. You can also walk to the edge of the barrel and perch there. I've never done it myself, but I just figured it out while I was playing around. So I just thought I'd include it as well. But yeah, like I say, just use both the tanks to jump over. The amount of people that don't expect it. And you can sort of find easier ways to get around people that you know are waiting on the other side of it. It, uh, it might help you get a free kill or two. And then lastly, it's not really a map tip, or it's for every map, but when you get these bloody he attack helicopters, just pop a few shots into it like that. I can hear the other people doing rockets, and look, I get a dead bird, I get a medal, I get like some free XP. I only shot a few bullets into it, but because I technically helped, it gave it me. So anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.